Hi everyone, I'm Cindy. Um, as you know from my previous video, right here. Um, today, I'll be introducing you to the new Kindle Fire. Well, what can this baby do for us? Well, it's got multi-functions. First of all, from the previous Kindle ebook series, you know, in the old generation, they don't really have like functions such as, you know, video, music, popular um, apps. So like, you know, this one is the bomb. So therefore, you might be asking, what's so good about this? Well, don't worry. I'll tell you all about it later. Another good point about Kindle uh, Fire, it only costs you at the maximum US $199. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal right here. So stay tuned. So let's not waste time and let's get into the details. So the display of the Kindle Fire is 7 inch multi display touch technology. Okay, and with the anti reflective treatment, you might be asking, what the heck is that? Yes, 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 right. So, well, the anti-reflective treatment is sort of like, you know, well, it's pretty simple as, as the name itself. Anti-reflective treatment, okay? So it's like, you know, when you are under sun, you are in a room with bright lights. You can't really see because it's like, you know, the light is too bright. But then, hey, don't worry. This babe right here, it's got no problem. You can even read it under the sun and, you know, under the bright light. So it's a pretty good thing. So the size of Kindle Fire is 190mm uh, times 120mm. The size is super cute. It's not too big, not too small. And the good part is the thickness is about 11.4mm. Uh, it's perfect size! I'm serious! Like, I can carry this with me to shopping mall, supermarket, you know, just like hang out with friends at their house or even in a the movie theater, <laughs> which I don't suggest. But anyway, well, there is a downside to this candle fire, babe, because um, the total amount weight of the candle fires is about 14.6 ounce. Well, basically, it's not that, like, you know, it's not that heavy, but it could be pretty heavy if you're having a prolonged reading, you know. I don't think you can carry this around your hands or, you know. So I think you, you might need to put it on the table or just, you know, put it on a book or some kind of object so that you won't feel tired afterwards. But, you know, overall, pretty cool. Okay, so as you can see right here, uh -huh. right here, <laughs> it's rubber, rubber coating at the back, plastic. And this right here, uh -huh, this is the glass, okay? So on the edges, it's also like plastic. So basically, I think like if you're not a pretty much like a metallic kind of lover, then you'll pretty much like love this thing right here. Why don't we move on to a very interesting point that I found out? Is that I found out the headphone jack on Kindle Fire is actually like at the bottom. You see the power button is also at the bottom, and the headphone jack is also at the bottom. So I found it kind of weird because like usually they should be on the top, um, but on the top it's like speaker right here. Yeah, and um, I can tell you the speaker is pretty good quality. Ta da! <laughs> this is my earphone. See, a pink, pink earphone. Very cute, right? Yeah, I really like it. I listen to it every day. Every day, it's getting closer. So uh, I just tried to show you that, um, you know, it's kind of awkward because it's like at the bottom. So I sort of like, it's my habit to kind of turn it like upside down. See, it's at the bottom. So I find it a bit inconvenient. So I always have to like, it's my habit to like just turn it like this. So the Kindle Fire is based on the Google Android system because it's like still kind of customized because the Kindle Fire is trying to focus the attention on the ebook and there's another new function called the Amazon Cloud Drive. So stay tuned and I'll tell you all about features on this Kindle Fire. So right now, uh, I'm going to tell you all about the features on the Kindle Fire. Let's get cracking. So as you can see from here, as the lock screen so what you have to do is you have to sweeping the uh, yellow bar right here kind of from right to left so it will take you into some kind of home screen right here there's an interesting point that i want to point out right here because you know how we got into the home screen from the lock screen you know we have to sweeping the yellow bar in from the right to left but for the ipad it's actually the opposite um the ipad it, it's left to right. So let's get back to the display page. Well, it's pretty 
easy to operate from the display page as you can see there's a sort of a carousel thing right here like you can see that the viewing history you had before okay and down here is the bookshelf right here so what does it basically do is that you know whenever you have the viewing history of any sites or any kind of um, function apps that you used maybe like 10 minutes ago it will just automatically go into here right here like a view history and um you know right here just give it a long push see right here it says add it to favorite so just give it a long press or push whatever you want to call it and then i think it will go into the bookshelf see pretty convenient right yeah that's what i thought i'm just gonna show you some different functions on the kindle fire you know as we all know the kindle fire is pretty famous for what for what for what i can't hear you yeah that's right that's what i thought ebook you know online downloading and then you know you download the ebook from amazon site and then you can you know read them page by page that's the old school yeah. Old school. This one Kindle Fire. It's a super plus one. Besides downloading ebooks, you can also have, you know, it's there's another function called newsstands right here. Right here, yeah, yeah. Newsstands, yeah. So what it does is like it's sort of like a online ebook in two, but um it's got magazines and newspapers. Right. Newspapers. So therefore like, you know, you can go online, download and buy off magazine books that you want to read. Right now, I'm, I want to tell you guys a pretty exciting news. It's about the Kindle Fire. Well, well, you know what? It's got this new function called the Amazing Cloud Drive. Yeah, you might be thinking, clouds. Clouds. Anyways, yes, back to the Amazing Cloud Drive. So what it basically does is that, you know, sometimes you, um, some kind of document or files that you want to save directly onto your Kindle Fire right into the device itself but however sometimes you know you get the device too full so therefore what this amazing cloud drive does is that whenever you download or you saved any file on this Kindle Fire itself it will automatically transfer all that documents or files into the other side yes into the other side the the cloud drive folder somewhere in the cloud <laughs> you can't really see it's a pretty high tech yeah, I give credit for that. Pretty good. So what it does is that, you see, everything's already there on the other side, the cloud side. So what you have here is all the original files, right? Plus the copy one right there. But however, once you feel like, you know, your Kindle Fire is getting like all full. Well, actually like right now, it's not full. It's all empty, right? But once all this, imagine all these is full. Of course, you, you, you want to delete some of that, right? You can save new files and stuff so what it does is that after you delete everything you know everything's gone you'll be like Phew, everything i lost everything you know what the heck right so you you're panicking you're like what if you accidentally delete some of these things that by accident well don't worry because the clouds drive folder will save your bum today because what it does is that you know after you delete everything you can always you know go into your cloud drive folder you can just you know grab or you know transfer back your file into here so therefore you'll have never have to worry about you know lose your files you couldn't find it if you accidentally deleted ouch so yeah that's a pretty good you know function i i personally loved it so i think you'll like it too Okay, so all that being said and done, so now I think you probably understand the most important things about Kindle Fire, right? But now I just, you know, I'm sorry. This is an unfortunate news for you guys because currently I'm not in the US region. I can't really, you know, I can go online. Yeah, I can see perfectly. There's no problem. But the only problem is that I can go online, but I can't really download anything because the Kindle Fire only is allow the user to I'll download the ebook, the magazine, the music, and the video when they're in the US region. So therefore, I can't, I can't really, you know, show you guys how it's done. But hey, don't worry, I got an idea. Uh, no, it's not me trying to be superhero and you know try to break the codes into the Kindle Fire. But I will show you guys a slideshow right here. Okay, to you know actually let you guys see the pictures and you know how to operate it. So therefore. Uh, you guys can have a sort of like a you know idea of how it could be done oh. so hey guys now we're back 
And you know, as you can see, Kindle Fire and this is the Samsung Galaxy Tab GTP1000. You know what? These two babe, they're just about the same display size. So therefore, naturally, I thought, you know, hey, why not? ta -da! Round one. Now let's start with the um, size of these two babes. Well, first of all, Kindle Fire and Samsung Galaxy Tab GTP1000, they're the, actually, they're the same size. Ooh, so no one wins, no one loses. Okay, so let's move on to the weight part. So the Kindle Fire weighs about 413 grams, and this babe right here weighs about 380 grams. So in this round, I guess the Samsung Galaxy Tab GTP1000 wins. Um, let's move on to the other part, such as the, the storage of these two babes. Well, the Kindle Fire has 8GB storage room, as for this babe right here, it's got 16GB storage room. So therefore, ta-da, another point for Samsung Galaxy Tab GT P1000. As the match continues, I'm a little scared for Kindle Fire, but let's just see if the next one it can win itself another point. All right, so next that we're gonna compare is the camera function. Well, the Kindle Fire has none, and this babe right here has a high resolution for the camera function. So this part, the Samsung Galaxy Tab wins itself another point. All right, now after all this simple comparison. Um, you know, I, I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, the Kindle Fire is like, uh, and the Samsung Galaxy Tab is like, woo. But hey, don't get me wrong. You know, I'm just doing this comparison just to show you, you know, since they're the same size and they're like the same little thin tablet. So I'm just doing a comparison, but it's really up to you, you know, to see which one will fit your needs. Because sometimes, you know, you we don't really need a camera, right? You know, it's like these days. Who takes pictures all the time besides me? Okay, so yeah. You know, don't take it seriously because it's really up to you with what you want. So, all right. Yeah, as you, you know, as you guys know, after my, um, you know, simple introduction to Kindle Fire right here, this babe right here. So I think you guys can have a uh, sort of a, uh, you know, fundamental understanding towards the Kindle Fire and its functions. Well, from my personal opinion, I think I might consider get one, but I'm not in the US region, so I would not buy it now. But if I have a chance, if I ever go to US, I think I would. Because first of all, the price is pretty chillin'. Like it's maximum 199 US at maximum. So so yeah, if you're ever in the US region or you're already in the US region right now, give this little babe a try and I'm pretty sure you might just fall in love with it. Bye! See you next time! Uh, there's another good point about Kindle... Um, ah! No, 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 cut, cut, cut! <laughs>